So I decided that I would share with you one of my calls here on YouTube so you can actually see me in action, see how I do this because talking is not enough. Everyone talks a big game. They all talk about the closing skills and closing strategies. They all role play, but not everyone shows it. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it, the way it looks, what it sounds like, and you'll see me closing a, a client uh, for a dating offer that I was working on. This is quite a tough call. A lot of closers wouldn't be able to pull this off, you know, because he gave a lot of objections. There was a lot of, I'll think about it, I need to process, I'll get back to you. And if I would have let him walk away and go think about it, he wouldn't have come back and purchased. He would have ghosted and maybe come back in a fucking year. But you guys know what I teach. You know that I live by what I teach. I practice this. I'm in this game with you. Um, this was actually a call that I broke down with the guys in my training program, in my sales training program. We broke this call down and I wanted to share the raw call with you. There's a lot of sub-communication a lot of um, psychology going on here, a lot of proper scripting that went on here, and I wanted to break down exactly how I did it or show you exactly how I did it so you can use this, see how I do things. That's it, go watch it, learn from it. If it lands for you and if you feel like you want to be at this level, come in and train with me. Come in and train with me and my guys. We, we have the best sales training program in the industry, that is not a question. We're not the biggest. We're not gonna be the biggest. That's not what I intend for. Um, I want us to be the best. That's what I want, us to have the best training technology in sales, and we are building that right now. So, watch it, learn from it, observe how I handle objections, how I lead, and I'll see you there. Okay, I'll see you over on the call. Um, I'm getting a notification that my connection is unstable, so if there's some freezing going on, just let me know and I'll sort it out. But it's I just saw that my Wi-Fi is not great. Um, can you hear me everything okay? Sounds still good to you? Yeah, I can hear you okay. okay. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so I am um, the enrollment coach. So basically when people want training, when we get results with dating and all that, I figure out a little deeper about what's going on and, and see if there's a way we can help exactly how we can help present a roadmap for you of what that looks like, go into investment pricing, all that. And if you feel like it's a good fit, we start you, kick you off and help you make changes. And if not, no worries either way. Um, we'll start with this. Just what are you looking for in your dating life right now? Like, where would you like to be specifically in relationships and dating overall? Um, well, in general, you know, I'd like to be a good person that I can connect with, you know, and eventually, you know, settle down with, I think, you know, I think, you know, being 45, I'm just not really, I mean, I don't mind dating and having fun, you know, and I'm kind of at that point right now anyways, but I just, I don't know if I like to just keep switching you know women you know just mm -hmm. you know constantly seeing different women it's it'd be kind of yeah. nice just to be able to get to know someone and build that deep you know that foundation if that makes sense yes. yeah what's the what's some of the roadblocks you're finding and in, in, or you're having in finding the right woman what's coming up there well part of it is um like i got out of a relationship i think it's been probably a couple months now or almost a couple months with a girl. I think she's a narcissist. I'm pretty sure she is because I've been watching tons of videos and I've been seeing a psychologist too, to kind of help me deal with my own issues. And so it's really kind of, it's kind of messed me up a little bit in the mind, but I'm healing and I'm getting, getting there. Mm -hmm. um, so I know that's, that's kind of playing a little bit of a, uh, you know, kind of hindering me a little bit with that. But um, in, when I you say hindering you, are you referring to like being with her is hindering you from finding some low quality? Or you're saying working on your own kind of inner battles and roadblocks is what's preventing you? Tell exactly. Me that my own more. inner battles and roadblocks. I, I feel like I'm getting better. I'm getting more confident. Yeah. Yes, there's deep seated insecurities mm -hmm. that are in me that I'm working on, mm -hmm. you know, and that stems back from growing up you know and, and to be honest with you tim you know i i really am convinced that my mom she's she's not here now i mean she passed mm -hmm. away but mm -hmm. um i think she was a, a narcissist herself so mm -hmm. i'm attracted to women that are that are toxic sure so it's sure. hard for me to navigate through that and pick the right women mm -hmm. because for whatever reason i just connect well with them and mm -hmm. then we just start you know going from there and it seems great at first and then it yeah. just it's it's ugly hmm. you know 100 percent. Um, yeah i get you but i think with the with the psychologist helping me out and then hmm. me doing the research uh being online um you know 
watching all these videos and educating myself, I'm starting to see these signs. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting better. So I don't know, maybe it's just me just needing to continue to learn, mm -hmm. learn about myself and, and then practice and apply this knowledge, you know? Mm -hmm. And so um, when, when you were, when you looked at getting coaching and training and looking at our stuff, what were you looking for exactly? Like, how do you feel like we can, fit into this puzzle specifically. And I know you don't know exactly what we do. Basically, it's a, I'll give you the basics. It's a coaching program. You work with us one-on-one. -on -one. We train you and give you tools on how to connect with women more intimately and create deeper relationships. I so think, how I think does that fit in for you? For me, so so recently I've been doing the uh, the dating sites and I've done those in, a pa in the past, to be honest yeah. with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't really like them that much. And I think most guys don't like them either. Mm. Um. Well, they're not designed think, for men to be successful, to be honest. They're not designed for that. They're, they're not. Uh, no, I mean, the whole business model is dependent on you needing to be on there more. But, you know, it's just yeah, it, it, exactly. Yeah. And um, so I, I remember before it was hard to get even get dates on there. Like I get mm -hmm. likes and stuff. But then a lot of these um, women on there just they just wouldn't say anything, you know, or maybe they'd say one or two comments. And then finally, um, I, I guess maybe I got a little more savvy on it where I'm just more like direct. Like I only send like maybe two, maybe three messages at the most, mm -hmm. like on the second or third message, I'm already saying, Hey, we need to let's meet for coffee or a drink, whatever, you know, I get straight to the point with them. Mm -hmm. um, so that's helped. So I feel like I can, like I can get dates on that, but then it's either, at first it was, I noticed like I had this needy behavior and I, I could tell that the girls didn't like that. So then they would reject me at first. And that was only for like the first three dates, mm -hmm. but now I've, I've gotten, you know, better at it. And it's like, you know, you meet these girls and it's like, Oh, I don't know. You know, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. she doesn't look quite like she did in her profile pictures sure. or, or sure. you're not meeting women in person, like women that you see out and about, you're not saying hi to them. Well, so that that's my point now. So I need to transition to that because I want to okay. get off the dating sites. Yeah. And I think you just you just hit it there. I need help meeting women in person. Now I've done that where I've I've started conversations and I've I've asked for phone numbers. I've got a phone number here and there in the past. Um, you know, honestly, here's another thing too, and this this is gonna blow your mind. Um when I well, it probably won't blow your mind because you you already know how this works. Mm -hmm. For some reason, when I was a teenager, I remember when I was 16, 17, I worked at uh, uh, this amusement park called Elitch Gardens. It's now, I think, Six Flags Elitch Gardens. And maybe because I was exposed to so many like cute girls back then, like I remember I just get numbers after numbers and I could just go out with any girl I wanted to then. But I don't know why it was, but for some reason, I had that mindset that I was supposed to have. Mm -hmm. maybe because there was such an abundance you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, well i mean um, age age changes things you're not, not a teenager anymore so the way that you think about things is going to change based on your own experiences in life past relationships traumas fears unconscious limiting beliefs all those things they affect what you do next but i, I want to go back to this again so what's the challenge you're facing with meeting women in person because you you mentioned you want to do that then you said you can get numbers but i didn't really see a challenge what's the thing you're struggling with um, I think it's just like the approach, like what, uh, how do I start out the conversation? Because yeah. sometimes I feel like there is an opportunity to talk mm -hmm. to them, mm -hmm. but then um, that opportunity is kind of rare. Like for instance, mm -hmm. the gym I go to, there's, yeah, there's a yeah. lot of like good looking gals there. And I'm like, man, I don't even know if the gym is a good place to meet women because like, it just seems like they're they're really you know just focused on their workouts and then they mm -hmm. have the the earbuds or the, yep. the yep. you know and it's like okay well <laughs> I remember there was a couple times I did start talking to girls and they had that in there and they didn't even hear me so I was just like I'll oh, forget it you know and then mm -hmm. I just didn't even mm -hmm. want to try talking to them you know I see because uh, okay. I couldn't see like on one of their you know they had the earbuds yeah. But, well, it sounds um, like it sounds like you you have a lot of potential to create something pretty interesting with girls in person, but it seems like you're just limiting yourself for whatever reason. I mean, there's a bunch of reasons to it. That's more the coaching part, like when you're 
in and the guys you work with, we figure out those things out and solve them. But that's what it sounds like, actually. There's opportunities for you to connect and to kind of, I would say, level up the quality of who you attract and have more selection, which is important for relationships and quality relationships as a man specifically. Um, but but not limiting yourself. Like, I'll ask you this, this, and I'll kind of frame it this way. Would you consider yourself high value in terms of bringing a lot to the table and being a good option for a, a great girl? Do, would you consider yourself that? Like before God hand on the Bible, are you a good option? I, yeah, I absolutely okay. think that because um, I, you know, even though like things got a little messy with my life right now, um, I'm, so I'm a business owner. Um, I, uh, I recently brought, uh, bought a property, um, at, with, with acreage and I'm going to start a nursery, you know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm renovating the house. Um, I have hobbies. I dirt bike ride, I, I motorcycle ride, you know, I'm, I'm an active guy, busy. Mm -hmm. And I, I would think those are all high value traits. And I yeah, feel like are. I'm not a, not a bad looking guy either. I think I'm, yeah. you know. I mean, like you said, in the youth, it's kind of different, but mm. I feel like, you know, I'm, oh, well, men like, age, like men age, like fine wine. If you take care of yourself, you you can, you're how old? 45. I think we see on that. 45. Phone. Yeah. Or, and I go yeah, to the yeah. gym. Um, yeah. So, so I'm, what I'm, the, yeah. the point is, the point I'm making is that you're you, the way you attract women and who you attract needs to be representation of your value. Like that's what it is. That's the thing I'm getting at. So if you are bringing a lot of value to the table, but a lot of men make this mistake and you're dating women that are below that value. No, no shade to women, not putting women down necessarily. I hope it's okay. I just talk like this with you here. But sure. you know, if you if you're dating women that are not that value than the standard you would set in other areas of your life, health, wealth, but you lower the standard in terms of dating, there's a discrepancy. That's I think really what we're getting at here, what we're aiming for, to make sure the value is lined up. So you're high value, you date someone who's high value, you bring that woman in, you build something with her potentially. Sure. And but I've also heard, Tim, that um like women since they're and a hypergamy <laughs> you you almost have to go like slightly under like that doesn't mean that doesn't mean dating women that are low value though okay i'm in a so relationship what... with a great a great girl she's hungarian I, I live in europe i'm in warsaw poland right now actually um i date a hungarian girl and i live in, in budapest and she's um in terms of like dating market if we're because clearly you know a lot about i guess some this maybe evolutionary psychology dating stuff um, you know, she, I wouldn't consider her like the most like high value woman in terms of deep, crazy, ambitious career. I, um, I do really well for myself. I'm a six figure earner. I produce a lot. I work on myself. I work on my body. She's not a low value girl. She's very, very high quality in my opinion. Um, I'm not dating the Victoria's secret model though. Right. If I was, if I was Leo DiCaprio, I'd be dating, I wouldn't be dating the girl I'm with now. Right. So the value, the value is not necessarily the point I was making. Wasn't like you should be lowering standards or, or, or you should, um, have to date a girl that's exactly as ambitious as you had. I don't even know if that would be attractive to you, to be honest, you know, but I'm talking about a woman who energetically, what she brings to the table, her character, her heart looks as well. We don't want to dip below a certain threshold that lines up with your value and where you would, where she should normally be dating and who you should be attracting. Gotcha. Yeah, sense. no, that totally makes sense. So um, I think that for sure, my struggle is figuring out how to, make these conversations happen mm. um i mean i i just for me it's hard to just cold approach a girl i think you got to get something like a smile what's hard, what's hard about it to you um i don't know it's like for instance in the past i've gotten a lot of like smiles from from women you know and i think even one time you know, I've even gotten like a wink and stuff too. And it's like, wow, I should have talked to that girl. Why didn't I do yeah. it? You know? Yeah. And then it's like, okay, well, I'll go talk to her, but oh, now she's over there and I'm sure. going to look stupid now, yeah. you know? So I think 100%. it's really just getting over that fear threshold. Um, and maybe I'm just complicating it too much thinking I have to say a certain thing to, to catch their attention. But I think I got to have the, I don't, care attitude like you know not I'm just not necessarily not necessarily it's i don't know if you're over complicating it it's more so there's i mean there's two elements to it um at least as far as how we train it and how we see it with our guys it's um part of its mindset yeah i, I like that a little bit you know not over or valuing the approach and making something happen and connecting 
sure. But the other half is backing it with technique, right? You don't need to say a specific line. Like there's no pickup lines that work better than others. It's it's how you communicate. <laughs> that, that doesn't exist. It's like how you communicate though. Um, what does she feel when you start a conversation, right? That's the key. Um, so I'm curious for you, like, let's say you were able to just go for it more and, and really connect with women in person consistently, the women you wanted to without missing opportunities. How do you feel dating would change for you overall? How does that connect to the bigger picture of where you really what you're looking for? Like if I was able to just approach them and yeah, not... yeah, and and not just approach because that's half the battle. The other part is like making sure dates actually happen, making sure they're investing in you, especially if you're dating more high value women. That you're not, it's not just going to be a walk in the park. So, like let's say all that's lined up for you, you're able to go for it consistently without the limitations. Where do you where do you see dating and relationships going for you in terms of? benefits of being able to have that ability out of those i mean i think i think i'm pretty close to him where i think if i get that down yeah and i just maybe get enough practice and help from you guys i think sky's the limit like i think i'll have the pick of several mm -hmm. high value women mm -hmm. um so i i don't know if that's the question you're at you're yeah. asking me more selection i guess yeah more selection yeah i think i'll have more selection and um I think I'm, you know, I mean, I think I got, um, or at least I'm getting the knowledge in my head of how to avoid the toxicity. Mm -hmm. So I can nip that in the bud right away because mm -hmm. now I'm starting to understand what the signs are or the flags yeah. are. Yeah. And as long as I don't ignore those, um, I could weed those out and get the higher, higher value um, yep. women. 100%. I will say this too, just that you might, think this is kind of silly but so i currently have braces mm -hmm. and they're they're supposed to get removed in about a month yeah. maybe longer the orthodontist may extend that another month after that but um man they just even something small like that man it's like kind mm -hmm. of bothering me mm -hmm. um you know because it's in it's in your it's in your head man it's definitely yeah because it, it, i don't like, say that lacking empathy i can i can see the braces but i think no personal judgment or anything of you seriously like i'm, I'm like i can see them but it's not a, it's not a character defining thing right like i don't know let's say i got some guy i get different kinds of guys on here let's say some guys like morbidly obese yeah that's that's a bit of a character defining thing i'm gonna i'm gonna i won't judge him negatively as a person i'll, I'll respect him as a human being but i'm gonna think something there women are not gonna make necessarily a character um assessment of you based on that i know it may not feel that way i, I get it i i understand how that is you, you feel a little like lack you don't feel so comfortable but yeah not much you can do about that until they until they're off yeah i mean some of it you still is, gotta take action though right it's even yeah right some of it's even speaking you know it's like yeah yeah, yeah. you know i try to you know i'll say something and maybe i'll mispronounce a word because mm. the the damn brace is like mm you know they're it's yeah not, it's all good man but it's all good but no i think i think once they're off that that will help but i mean like you said it's not like that's not the primary it's, it's not the braces man i don't think once they're off it's it's going to make a big difference that's for sure that's my professional opinion like it's it's not going to change anything what what I'm, one thing else is like why why now for you why and by why now i mean like why book this call now why look at coaching and training now instead of putting it off why kind of have this conversation what led you to this um, place to really look at it now you know, I think the reason why I thought about putting it off, Tim, that's a great question. Um, and just l allowing myself to build other parts of my life. Mm -hmm. But I feel like, you know what, I'm on the right track. Those things are starting to build. I'm, I'm getting things back on track and I'm getting better mm -hmm. or bettering myself. And I think you know, the problem is I've been in that mindset where it's like, okay, I got to do X, Y, and Z mm -hmm. uh, or A, B, and C first. And it's like, you never get A, B, and C done, mm -hmm. you know, and never, you, you, so I'm never going to reach that point. So I need to at least get this started. Yeah. Um. And, and like I said, I feel like I'm, I'm this close, mm -hmm. like I'm closer than what I think Um, to, to getting there. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think, you know, I think I might as well get the ball rolling and just to see what happens. Good. Does that make sense? hundred percent. It does. Yeah. I, I, I couldn't say it better myself. Um, A, B, C, that, that analogy is really good. I might use that on some of my future calls okay, <laughs> talk about yeah. putting stuff off. I might talk about it. I like that a lot. The way you worded that's interesting. Um, well, let me just give you an example of something. Yeah, so, yeah. uh, 
you know, as far as like feeling good about yourself, I really like motorcycles. And I sold my my street bike about my, a year. My mom and a half wouldn't ago. let me get my motorcycle license when I was younger, so I never ended up riding. I, oh, I really? You know what's my funny? And you know what, dude? That same thing, like similar thing, happened to me where when I was like 18, 18 years old, uh, that's when I had like the urge where I wanted a motorcycle, and yeah, my yeah. family, my mom, uh, uh, you know, other family members and friends and stuff were always talking out of it. Like, no, it's mm -hmm. too dangerous. It's too dangerous. And then I would, mm -hmm. I would see some horrific accident mm -hmm. and I'd be like, no, I better not. But that, that desire never went away. Mm -hmm. And finally at the age of 37, mm -hmm. I actually bought my first motorcycle and yeah. got my motorcycle license. Yeah. You know so what I'm afraid I'm, of? I'm afraid of the death wobble. That's what I'm scared oh, of. I'm not dealing with that. Oh yeah. You know what? Um, you know, the death wobble. No, I know. I know people have yeah. done that before. Yeah. That actually happened to me on a, on a dirt bike mm. but um if you buy the right bike yeah yeah that should never happen really interesting yeah. okay yeah interesting. they have they have dampeners that yeah. i know the that. i know that i've heard about the dampeners but i heard it doesn't yeah I, I i'll look into it more maybe i'm not driving anytime soon anyways i'm i'm getting i'm a car guy now but we'll see let's get back on track um okay you can right. talk about bikes and cars and stuff i'm sure um, I want to, I want to kind of ask you one other thing here and then I'll, I'll break down everything we do, like prices and structure and all that stuff. Um, what's the negative impact for you if you don't handle the, the, um, approaching outreach aspect of dating there's to put into perspective, there's two kind of aspects to dating as, as we see it, there's like marketing as in who you are, the product. Right. There's that. Then there, or I shouldn't say marketing, but product development. You as a as an individual, you're the product on the dating market. You continue working on yourself, mindsets, earning income, having passions, all those things you bring to the table. That's great. And then there's outreach, which is attracting the right kinds of women by going for it either online, not ideal, often, or in person, which is what we're aiming for here. So for you, the in-person component, let's say you kind of stay at the limit that you're at now where you're not just going for it and creating those opportunities. What do you see as the negative result of not doing that for yourself? Um, and, and please don't say everything will be okay and there will be no problem because there absolutely is a negative. Oh, no, I, I feel like if I don't, yeah. then I'm just either going to, you know, have to settle for, like you said earlier, lower value women mm -hmm. that either I don't have the attraction for because mm -hmm. I did meet a woman. I didn't tell you this part, but um, before this last relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, I dated a girl from Spain and she treated me like a king, mm -hmm. but I didn't have like a good attraction to her. You oh, know, I see. Yeah. That's so, always, it's always tough. Yeah. So, so I think that the negative part would be that I'm just never going to find the, the girl of my dreams and I'm mm -hmm. never going to really feel fulfilled with that. Now I get it. You know, I heard that you don't find someone to complete you. You have to be completed mm -hmm. first, but I still feel like, I don't care what anybody says. Nobody yeah. wants to be alone. Yeah, yeah I I take that statement with with a grain of salt when people say you don't, you, no one completes you. I I agree with it in theory, but at the same time, um, I I believe, and this is something I, I just personally have seen myself. I speak from my own experience. I think as men, we age like fine wine. Like I, I think I mentioned that earlier, but also wine needs to be cured or cultured. Right, you put it in the right atmosphere, you put it in a decanter, you let it sit correctly, and it ages even better. So I've seen for myself, I mean, I was crushing it before I met my girl, killing, you know, working hard, traveling, meeting awesome girls. And but when I'm with her, there's a different level of purpose and a different level of passion, a different level of focus I have. Not not meaning that I can't have those things without her. But, you know, when, when you're in a space of collaboration with someone who fuels you and even from the sex all the way to just being in the airport with her, traveling to Germany to hang out, like it just... It's different having a woman on your arm that is my woman. I've earned a relationship with her. And she's great because of who I am. I am. So I think, yeah, women don't complete you, but but they definitely can help you be a better version of yourself as you compete in this world and just push. That's what I feel. Oh no, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. I mean, I yeah. think absolutely. You know, and we're we're created to have those those connections with other people, you know. Mm -hmm. And what's mm -hmm. I mean, and what's better than that deep connection that you can have with someone yeah. you know that you really feel connected with so for sure. for sure you feel like you're you're ready then to to kind of step up and start to make changes to that outreach and how you connect how you approach to start giving yourself the best options or how do you feel 
Yeah. So, Good. so yes, I do. I, I, I feel like that's where I need the help. And then the okay. other thing, Kim, I want to mention to you sure, is, please. is fashion. Um, mm. I think, um, look, I'm just, you know, being kind of a blue collar guy, I, I run a tree company. Um, I mean, it's a good company. That you know? explains the giant Christmas tree behind you. Is it a Christmas tree? What is that thing? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, but. Uh, you know how they say uh, there's an elephant in the room? You got a tree in the room. I've been staring at it the whole time <laughs> and I was like, I'm just not even going to ask about it. But thank you for clearing that up for me. We can help and and I'm happy you're here. I'll, I'll break down the details of, of kind of everything we do. I'll, I'll try to make it as simple as possible. We do a lot. So what I'm going to share with you here is, is probably like, I'd say 90% of the whole of all the details when you're inside the program, there's a bunch of little extra things and bonuses, which are, I'm not going to get into each little one here, but I'll give you the overall structure, everything you're getting with us in terms of deliverables, pricing, and then we can go from there. So what, um, what our big goals are, we really have two things that we want all of our, our clients to accomplish. Um, a few moments later that's everything that's how how it all works next steps normally if you feel it's all good is we schedule you with your coach and give you your first exercises moving forward um but uh the the question is how do you feel what questions you have tell me tell me how you're feeling well while you were uh talking i got to thinking my uh my psychologist actually told me that um well let me back up so I told her my story on building a business and mm. she listened to me talk about my confidence that I had in business, you know, just, and I do, I mean, I could talk to people like it's like a walk in the park. I don't even think about it. I just exude this power, this confidence, you know, when I'm talking to my customers mm -hmm. and selling this work um, and they just trust me. And it's like, I, I get just, just about every job you know nice, like i have nice. a very high percentage of, of selling huh. um my and i my psychologist asked me well how did you do that and i'm like well i was fortunate to have you know two or three successful business other men kind of take me under their wing and and help me and she says okay that's exactly what you need to do with with women and mm. dating and figuring out how to mm -hmm. you know get a quality woman a high yeah. value woman is you yeah. need you need to get those men to help coach you and bring you up, you know, yeah. just like you did with yeah. business. So yeah. I've had it myself in dating as well. I had two dating mentors early on. I'm 29 now. I'll be 30 in November. Um, but I had two, two dating mentors early on. I'm lucky I started that when I was 20. <laughs> so. Yeah, no, I wish I would have uh, figured things out sooner, but you know, it is what it is. Time, there's time you know, for I, everything. Yeah. I'm, and you know, Tim, I mean, there's other areas of my life that I figured out, you know, exactly. and uh, this is, I, th I feel like, you know, I don't want to sound like, oh, yeah, I got it all figured out. But I, I do really believe this is the final thing is to figure mm -hmm. out women. And sure. once I do that, I feel like I've mastered myself to some degree, if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I mean, you have three buckets, health, wealth, relationships. That's pretty much it. You need to be in yeah. balance. All three of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, no, it definitely sounds like something I'm interested in. Um. Is this, uh, this is something I probably need to, I need to figure out probably soon with you guys. Um, do you, do you want a commitment like today or, or like, I guess? Um, I mean, want a commitment? Sure. I would, what I always ask is, is one, how are you feeling about it? And why do you feel like it can help? I always start just with that. Um, and then secondly, in terms of commitment and getting started, where are you? Like, how do you feel? Like what normally next steps is we get you started. Where are you at with all that? Um, so I, I'll be completely transparent and honest with you. Mm. Um, as far as getting this started, I do want to get it started as soon as possible. Mm. However, um, there's been some, some change, you know, I told you I'm transitioning and kind of fresh getting out of this relationship too. Yeah. yeah. I've been a couple months, but I feel like I'm healing it fairly quickly. Mm. And I think, you know, I'm starting to get the clarity I'm, and I'm like a sponge right now. Mm -hmm. So, um, but also with business, I've been super busy with that mm -hmm. transitioning the business as well, getting that, you know, figured out. Um, so it could take, a. you know, I, I don't know how much time I can invest in it, I guess. Okay. Do you have four or five hours a week? 
Uh, yeah, I think so. That's the time it's going to take. You need to do a session with your coach once a week. Um, come on and role play with the models. That's going to take around an hour. And then some time to connect with women. That's important. You know, go on a date on a Friday evening. Uh, go and, and approach women. Doesn't mean you need to take three hours a day going and saying hi to a bunch of women, but you need to take some time to connect with a woman or two. or More than that, excuse me, like five to ten, let's say. Um, in the gym, you know, walk out and you're in Starbucks, you're driving around doing something for the business and you're in Home Depot, making it up, getting some equipment and you see an attractive woman taking stuff to her car, say hi. That's the kind of thing you're going to need to do. So it shouldn't take you more than five, four or five hours a week. And we we have guys like everyone in our program is busy. We structured it and, and created it for guys that were busy um, because you shouldn't need to disrupt everything in your life for dating. It, d- it doesn't work that way. Yeah. So in terms of the time, you should be good there. What else is coming up? Um. So I'm just trying to feel, think if if I should do the boot camp or or I mean I think I would benefit from a whole coaching experience. I agree with you on that. Yeah. yeah. Um. Let me do this, Tim. Let me just uh, let me just absorb this a little bit and just mm. see when I'm exactly ready. I don't think the financial thing is an issue. Mm-hmm. um a little bit right now um i um like i said i've been renovating my house so there's there's some expenses and it would take a little while to go over everything with you um but i think i'd probably be ready to to get on board probably um maybe sooner but probably two weeks i would think yeah. Um, but I, I think I definitely want to go with you guys. Um, sure. Give me a little time just to absorb this because this is a lot of, a lot yeah. of information too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No stress. Um, when you mentioned two things I want to look at real quick before I bounce. Um, when you mentioned absorb, what do you mean absorb specifically? Like what is the stuff you're kind of trying to absorb exactly? Before feeling um, ready. Before feeling ready is more so what I mean. Yeah, I just want to see... I think it's just basically, basically the time Mm -hmm. and trying to figure out, you know, if I'm going to have time to really apply this, you know, definitely um, going to have the time. If you have four or five hours a week, you're going to have the time. I guarantee, and and all respect to your business, I guarantee you there's men in the program that are more busy than you that have time to do it. I promise you, unless you're like the top 1% of busy clients we have, then I might be wrong, but statistically, I would bet that you're not in our top 1% of busy clients. I no, mean. and I agree with you. I, you're right. You got to just make the time. time. Yeah. Um, so, in in terms of in terms of readiness and like absorbing, what's what's coming up for you in in terms? You of know what? No, I I think I think that's it. You know, I I think you know there's there's the healing that I'm going through right now too. But mm-hmm. in your opinion, honestly, I mean, do sure. you think you know I, it was only about eight months the relationship? Mm-hmm. So, and and being in a narcissistic relationship. I, I know it takes a little time to heal from that because you're yeah. being gaslighted and you feel like, you know, confusion. Um, that stuff is starting to dissipate. Um, nice. Amazing. But I, I think with me seeing a, a psychologist, like I said, yeah. a counselor, yeah. um, your genuine opinion, you mm-hmm. think I'm, I'm good on this or do you think I need a little more time to heal? I what, guess. What I think is, and, and first thing is, is shout out to you just for seeing the therapist. That's amazing. Cause a lot of men don't take those steps because of ego. So that's great. Um, it's only been recent since I included therapy in my own process in my, in my, you know, who I, as a person, as a man, um, what I'd say is this. So I, I talk to guys on these calls a lot who are, who are in a similar situation to whether they've gone through some, some pain, um, some real pain stuff. Um, what I would say is if you have a therapist that's working with you, that works very well with our training, as in her input, her oh, feedback, okay. her support, it works super well with what we do because we're not, we're not therapists. We're not, we're focused more on tools, structures, and actions, right? Whereas therapists are focused more on uh, boundaries, processing, and interpreting information, which is really good. Um, so it works really, really well together. If you would tell me that you're, you haven't worked with a therapist at all i'd have some questions there and i'd say i think we probably could help still but i'd, I'd want to be a little more gentle in offering this to you and saying hey let's let's make a commitment and move forward um but if you have a therapist and you're consistent with her as you're learning with us as we're giving you new challenges again we're not going to give you anything crazy that's going to disrupt things for you but just as we're giving you challenges and putting you out of the comfort zone you pinging that by her and looking at the internal feelings about all of it even at a deeper level than we'll do with you we have that ourselves too but at a deeper level 
it's going to be a really good, a really winning combination for you. That's for sure. Yeah, no, I totally, I totally agree. And, you know, I've been absorbing a lot. I've been reading, you know, I'm, I'm sure you heard of Corey Wayne, right? Have you heard of him? I know you name know that name. Super familiar. I know the name. I don't know how he looks, but the name is familiar. Yeah, Corey but Wayne. I, Coach I Corey him. Wayne, I know him. Is he a bald white his, dude? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I know Coach Corey Wynn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he, he, uh, I got his book. I've read it a bunch of times. And, um, and then I've watched a ton of videos on him yeah. and other people. But I still feel like, like what my psychologist told me, I need yeah. that group of guys, that support to help yeah. pull me up. So, yeah, yeah. yes, I definitely want to go with you guys. Um, what, and what I, I would... said, A, B, and C. Go ahead. When I said mm -hmm. A, B, and C, um, mm -hmm. what I meant by that is, yes, I know, like, I'm never going to be perfect, but mm -hmm. am I at a good point since it's been a couple months to to go ahead and, and start this journey with you guys, you know, to get to the next level? And I, I think also part of the answer to that is you being on this call, like you coming on the call, knowing you're in a position, I don't suspect you just do a 45 hour call, take it out of your time for the sake of it. You're busy. Um, so, you know, you, you knowing that you're in a position to take action enough to even be on a call like this and give up this time, time is money, um, I think speaks for itself. So I would say, and, and I know I wouldn't, I know I'm, I'm biased hundred percent, but I don't just say this to every person I talk to. There's a lot of guys I talk to who don't come in this program. As you understand in sales, people don't buy things and invest in things oftentimes. Um, but I can definitely say that just from what I get from you in terms of the communication, what you seem like you're looking for and where your head is at. I think you'd be able to roll with us and start making changes immediately. I, I think so. Um, here's the other question. You said, yeah. so it's a, it's a three month program, right? You said 90 day. Um, yeah. Good. Do I have to pay the whole chunk up front? And I said, I said the, the finances, they're mm -hmm. not really a concern, but they kind of are just because mm -hmm. of this house renovation. And sure. there's a lot of unforeseen things that I've, I've come across yeah. where yeah, yeah. I, if, you know, I do this, I'd like to set that up where, sure. you know, maybe we do 2,500 a month. Yeah, we have payment structures that we do. Um, what I was going to say is what I, what I would want you to do is commit to coming to the boot camp and save that. Cause I know for a fact, that's going to be massive for you just being able to come to the boot camp. Um, and then what I can do as well is you can come and get feedback I'll include it kind of for free. I don't like to call it a trial, but you can come feel out what we do as far as the mentorship, get some insights, um, and then we can process the rest of the investment for the rest of the program if you feel like you're ready to move forward with it in two weeks. But the boot camp commitment, you can make that, and we save you a spot. They sell out quickly. That's also why, too. Well, and, um, and, and Tim, ahead. in the grand scheme of things, you know, mm -hmm. when I think about $7,500, that's really mm -hmm. a drop in the bucket and the mm -hmm. long run mm -hmm. you know because you sure. look at the investment that you make that we make in our lives you know yeah. and then if if this is you know the going to help me find a high quality woman mm -hmm. i mean that's priceless anyway so seventy five hundred dollars is not much you know it's it's sure. peanuts in the long run so yeah yeah hundred it's very difficult to price the value of a <laughs> finding an amazing woman that you build something with. I don't know if there is a price tag. I don't know. No, I don't think I, so. I don't know if you're still there. Oh yeah. Yeah. I hear it. it was no, going in and out and mute. Okay, cool. Cool. Um, so, so looking at, looking at details. So I want to, I want to talk logistics of this and how we can make it happen. So for the boot camp, can first things first outside of the whole program and just everything, can I save you a spot for the boot camp? that happens we do investment for the boot camp and we save a spot and let me know what you do is let me know about june take a week maybe two if you have to let me know yeah. and then if you I have think, to we'll push it back i think it's it's pretty obvious i'm going to go forward with you tim okay cool um i i definitely i i think it's you know the values there awesome. um i had a quick question about as you said once a week with the coach um I can't remember what you said. Is that something that could be scheduled on the weekend? Yeah. Uh, just because during the week, I mean, a lot of times I'll be doing 12 hour days and then mm -hmm. I'm trying to make it to. And so, I mean, I'm not home sometimes till seven, eight, 
that's all I had, seven, eight, even nine o'clock at night, typically eight, nine mm -hmm. o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to be pretty tired at that point. So mm -hmm. is that something that could be scheduled like on a Saturday or Sunday? What I would say um, in all transparency, our, our coaching calendar is flexible, but our coaches generally don't work weekends. They try because it's their job, you know, so they try to keep most Saturdays and Sundays free for family or whatever else they're doing. Um, what I would say is you can schedule in advance. So I think if you know that you'll have like a 45 minute hour conversation next Friday, I don't know if you use calendar and stuff, but I assume you, you can do that. Just maybe plan ahead just that you may want to be at a desk or in your car, even on the phone with it set up with a notebook, just to take an hour out of your day and, and get some training, if that makes sense. Sure. Okay. So I think it's, I think it's more just kind of getting, I mean, I, it's not that I have to do a lot, but getting my ducks in order, uh, maybe a little bit more. Um, but I, could you give me today, I guess, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. get us what we talked about. Mm -hmm. um i'm i'm like 90 something percent that i'm, I'm going to go forward with this okay. so sure um i really believe that that i want to work with you guys i mean I, sure. I think you know you're a straightforward guy authentic and yeah i mean you're you're not bs me as well I'm saying. that's not my style man um and i mean once you come in it's a relationship we're building with you we, we know you you're in with us you're seeing me in the community so i mean that's a responsibility i have um yeah and and i'll have to see on the boot camp like which one i could i could go to but i think that cool. does make sense i mean you okay. said it's like a two or th two or three day process right it's a three day camp. boot camp it's gonna be friday to saturday sorry friday to sunday friday afternoon saturday or sunday okay and i imagine at that point like i need to probably i gotta get my fashion in order i'm thinking about that too that, that's we like can I solve can, that real easy man we can solve that real easy yeah yeah. okay so that'll be done with the with the, the online coach right that i see yeah well you're we're, we do what you do it with him we have modules on it and trainings on it and whole structures on fashion like we give you all the resources and assets then we also do it in our community where you work with female coaches who tell you kind of what's the best looks and stuff so we one-on-one -on -one modules and trainings that are just sitting there like course material and then female coaches as well we it's a kind of a triangle feedback from all three okay now uh, i'm assuming you'll send me an email with you know a link to pay for this and i imagine Gener that, generally we do onboarding here that's why when when someone's like this worked for them i set you up with your coach so we'll have to have a call where i go through all the details with you unless if you're not ready to to start and commit and we bring you in here then i'd have to do another call with you Oh, you'd have to do another call then. Okay. Yeah. It takes like, it'll um, take like 10, 15 minutes. Okay. Well, let's, let's do that. If you could give me, um, at least, um, I, no, I mean, I'm going to do it with you. I just, I just, can I, can sure I ask you I'm this, not... Tim? I feel like you're wrestling with something internally. If I just can be honest with you, I feel like there's a little bit of a conflict. Like what, what would come up for you in this day or two that would make it a no? Cause I know you said 90 something. So there's like a 5%. What, where, what would block you from being able to move forward? I think it's. I think you just went on mute. Oh, okay. Sorry about you're, that. You're yeah. I think it's just being like too overwhelmed with everything going on, you know? Um, Cause I still got, like I said, the psychologist, the work, figuring this out with the house and, you know, do I need like a couple more weeks or, or a month? I don't know, you know? Um, can I be real with you, man, and offer a perspective? Sure. Um, I what I feel is coming up is is uncertainty. Actually, when you say overwhelm, and and again, I, I completely under, understand it and hear you. When you say overwhelm, your your dating life and your relationships aren't gonna stop because of these things. Like whatever house, whatever projects you're working on, whatever. I, am I wrong that the, does the Christmas season get busy for you with relating to trees and stuff? Does it get more busy with business or no? No, right now is actually okay. the the peak sure. time. Like this is the busiest time I'm gonna sure. be at. Right so now. I was gonna, I was gonna, I assumed Christmas would be busy, but let's say any any busy time, like when when you see that beautiful woman, or when you're already starting to date her and showing up for her, spending time with her, like that process is still gonna be continuing through the chaos in life. It really is. Um, sure. Yeah. So when you when you mention overwhelm, I, I dare say that the best time to really take this seriously and i know you are serious for coming on the call that's for sure but the best time to really take this seriously and start to look at things the right way and adjust and position yourself for success 
is when there's busyness and is when there's chaos. I, I don't feel oh, like- Oh, I gotcha, in, okay. And I say that honestly, I don't feel like in 24 to 48 hours, you're gonna have some sort of great clarity where you're gonna suddenly be less busy next week. I think you're still gonna keep on producing in the business, keep on working on the things you have to handle. What it really comes down to is, is like the commitment to, to making change and showing up and deserving these kind of great relationships, eventually relationship now, even while you're busy and committing to that when you're in a season of busyness. Cause so you, I think that commitment is something you can make here. Yeah. So, so you need a, you need a credit card then is what I'm saying. Right. Well, what we do is we have payment structures and the moment you pay the first thing, we give you everything. And like I said, the reason I haven't talked much about payment is because that's secondary to me. Of course, you have to pay to start working with us. But the primary yeah. thing is the commitment to making some kind of change where we're committed to serving you. And after that, payment structures, payment plans, we can figure that out. We split it in two months, three months, four months. I don't care. I know you're good for it. But that's okay. that's just so, the first thing on the table. So the boot camp is four grand and then the... Uh the other coaching and stuff is 3,500. It's it's together at 7,500. If you do them separately by themselves, they're each 4K. Oh, 4K. Okay. Yeah, so I got you gotcha. basically get a discount. And if you pay it once, if you're investing all of it at once, you get a discount on it. If you do payment structures, investment goes up by a little bit, not like two grand or something, but it's like 500 more if you're splitting up over, over a couple payments. So if I pay it all at once, how much would it be? 7,500. Or if you do the bootcamp by itself, it's 4,000. Okay, so if I do payments, it, it goes up then. It goes pricing. up by a little bit. Yeah. So if you split it into two months, we'll do four K times two. If you do everything, if you do the boot camp, then it's gonna be like twenty two hundred times two, you know, whatever payment option you do, boot camp or the whole thing. If you do a payment plan, the investment goes up by a bit. It's discounted basically if you pay once. Okay, so if I pay it over like three months, mm -hmm. how much you can do that over three months? Yeah, we can we can split it over three months. Um it depends <laughs> on what you want to do to start. So if you want to do a bigger bulk payment, then we'll, whatever the remainder would be, it would be, let's say you'd started with 3,000 and the rest of the 5,000, it would be 5,000. We'd go up to 8,000 8, if you're doing all in together. And then we'd split that over two months or you could split into three months if you wanted. Okay. I gotcha. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just think it's, it's smart just because it's, you know, it's a lot, it's a big chunk. Mm. Um, if you just let me digest this a little bit, Tim, sure. um, I, I need to look at my credit cards too, just to see where I'm at. Actually, I could look mm -hmm. at them right now yeah. too, just to see where those balances are. Um, you just need a deposit then? Is that is that? Um, I don't I don't necessarily want you to make a deposit. I just want you to start, if that makes sense. Like some guys I talk to, especially if they have a lot of limit like limitations financially, or if there's a a lot of fear and stuff they have, I'm we'll take a deposit. But for you, I just I just want you to, to, to be able to be able to begin in some capacity with us. Sure, and by the way, okay. by the way, Tom, by the way, Tim, if it's, if it's the, the logistics also of just your time and stuff, like I was telling you, you could literally come in for a week, two weeks, get to training coaching. And if you're like, I need to sort some stuff out life-wise just for another two weeks and then come back and continue this afterwards, that's not a problem on us. Like we're good. And I hope you understand what I'm getting at here. For me, it's, sure, yeah. it, it's not like this stickler of you pay everything fast. I, we want to train you three months and that's it. it. It's like, we just, I just want you to commit to working with us and us to start and just give you everything. So you see everything that you're getting. Oh. You can come to the sessions whenever you want. You have your coach. And if you tell us, hey, just let's take one more week or two weeks, we'll pause it. We'll add the time on. That's fine. But I want you, you can in pause that. It. Okay, good. Good. You can pause. It's not a problem. Okay. All right. Well, then that, that actually is... Uh... That that just clarified everything with me then. Uh, awesome. So good to go then, Tim. Amazing. Awesome stuff, man. What's what um payment structure would work best for you in terms of like what you have available? What do you want to start with? And then let's figure out the rest of the payment agreement after that. Um, you know what? Let's do this. Why don't I put um because I'm guessing you'll probably want a credit card, right? It doesn't be a credit or debit, it doesn't matter what it what it is. I'll send you a link and then I'll set you up with your coach and yeah whatever um, all right there i got is there a fee for using the credit card or no nope, no fees no extra charges nothing okay um well it'd probably be easier because that kind of gives me a little more time too sure, sure. Um, could you uh, how much okay first of all what is the total amount to do 
both of those, you know, the boot camp and, mm -hmm. and the, uh, I know you said 7,500, but I'm saying yeah. if I do it over three payments, what is mm -hmm. the, the, it'll, the it'll be 8,000. Oh, 8,000. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, could you still do it for the 7,500 though, or, or do you have to get like authorization? Here's so I'm I'm the boss of how we do our payments technically so no one I decide um <laughs> but what well here's what I would say I in in good faith I will I it's the end of the month actually almost so it's our it's the end of our payment windows um what I'll tell you is if you if you want to complete the rest of the balance in in June then I'll give you the discount for seventy five hundred still if you're going to split it into three months then we have to bump it up to eight that's just our policy. But um, if you want to start with a lower payment now, that's fine. And then sometime in June, um, if you want to complete the rest of the balance for 75, you can do that. Um, I'm sure you'll, you'll know more about your finances. You'll see what payments are looking like. You can plan more for this. Um, and if you need to stretch it out through through July, then we'll we'll have to keep it at the, the normal eight. Okay. All right. And then I have the option of doing the boot camp in June or July. Or July. Yeah. Um, Just let me know. And if or, you can't do June, we'll switch it to July. That's fine. Okay, and then what if I, for some reason, July doesn't work? Uh, would I be screwed on yeah. that, or do I? No, 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 man. You can reschedule it to um the next one we have after that is gonna be September, September thirteenth. Okay, all right. I, I I think for sure I'd be able to do one of those. I mean, unless something happened to me. Um, just, we just ask. We just ask for for our own purposes because if we limit the spots in the boot camp to keep it very intimate. So if we save you like July and you've committed to July, just try not to cancel like the week of, cause that would, that wouldn't be cool. But let us know like two, three weeks in advance. So if someone else wants to sign up, we can bring on another student, you know? And I'm, I'm sure your, your coaching just helps in relationships in general too. You know, I mean, it doesn't even have to be like, you know, with a woman, it's like, I, I imagine just like, relating to friends and oh you know. i see what you mean yeah yeah um a lot of our guys actually run businesses have found that their networks and the way that they relate to people just in terms of outreach in the business has been affected because we teach a lot of stuff on communication and confidence and again mindset stuff so it leaks into other areas i'm not going to say that that it's going to change everything about other areas but i think a lot of these things work with each other as an example let's say you're fitness you start hitting the gym really hard and and you you start looking good. You start seeing yourself in the mirror. Maybe the way that you walk around and carry yourself starts to change and your relationships improve because you're more confident, right? That's kind of how, how the dating stuff works for us. Gotcha. Okay. Um, all right. Well, um, I'm sure we both have to, you know, got stuff to do, so we should probably, yeah, yeah. um, let me, let this, me, so uh, let's, let's make it happen, man. What's the best option for you to start? And then we can be flexible of however you pay the rest of it. We're, we're fine with that. Okay. Um, so if we could do, if we could do 2,500 on the, cool. the card just to get started, I think That's I could, fine. yeah, I got enough to, to get that going. Okay. And then, um, I guess I'll have access immediately to your... you get, you get, you get everything. I'm going to do it with you here. So we'll take, it's going to take another two, three minutes, uh, two to five minutes. I'm going to schedule you in with your one-on-one -on -one coach. Um, and you and your coach are going to start this journey together of, um, approaching, uh, how, how you approach setting up the roadmap. Um, and then I'm going to bring you into the community as well. We have a private community with all the guys. We'll connect you with, and then there's some other things we're going to send you through email. That's what we'll do here. It takes like about five minutes for everything. Okay. Um, let me send you over a link. There's two ways I can do it. I can either send it to your email and you can type in your info and process it on your end, or I could just type in the info here, which will be better for you. Um, it doesn't matter. I, I'm okay. If you right. want to just type it in to save time. Yeah. I'll just share screen and, and run through the investment here. And then there's like two more things I'll set up for you. I'll try to make it as quick as possible. I think whatever, whichever saves more time. Cool. Cool. I'm going to stop the recording for your... Well, there we go. You see how it's done. If you want to come in and train with me and make changes to how you sell, build an elite skill set, uh, crush it on your offer, hit months, 10K plus consistently. Link is down below to come to my sales community. Shoot me a message and I'll talk to you, see where you're at, see what you need and set you up with um, with our training and put you in the best position to succeed. But hopefully it's made sense. Hopefully it landed. I'm happy that you got to see how I do things and what I do. I'll see you on, on the next one.